everybody, welcome back today guys to the channel. Today we have a huge episode. Car X Drift Racing 3 has officially posted some brand new footage on their Twitter today, on their Facebook, basically everywhere. Everybody's been talking about it. We have brand new damage gameplay. Right now, it's not a lot, right? Let's not get too excited today, but there is a good 20 seconds or so. You slow it down, you get about a minute or so. We're gonna chop it up today. We're gonna have a look at the gameplay and see what's new coming for Car X Drift Racing 3. I'm a huge fan of Car X Drift Racing 2, and obviously uh, we've been excited for something brand new. This has brand new damage models as well too so right now of course before we start though today don't forget to slap that like button okay so this is the post that car act drift racing 3 dropped down eight hours ago from this recording it's going to be quite a bit from here but 83,000 views on this post already eight hours in 286 comments 875 reacts on here we're gonna go ahead toss mine on bang 876 they dropped on a couple paragraphs as well too it goes today we'd like to share with you information about one of the most anticipated features of car x drift racing 3 car damage system right now of course in previous car x drift racings right we don't have damage on our cars if we hit somebody we basically just bounce off of them we spin around and that's basically about it so for the first time ever on car x drift racing 3 we're going to have damage models on the game which is a huge thing this is not an easy thing by any means especially with the amount of body kits that they have the amount of customization that they have I feel like it's a pretty big thing to ask for on this game, but right? Damage to your car will be tied to the physics of the collision. In other words, the nature of the collision will affect the condition of your car afterwards. If you slightly touch your rear fender with the wall, you should expect a nasty scratch. And with more serious accidents, you can expect body elements, deformation, and cracks. Right, and obviously we can see that with this little preview here, right? This bumper is falling off of the car, man. And we're gonna have bumpers flying around on the track, I feel like now. It's gonna be a good day for Car X, right? It's gonna be fun for Car X when this does drop. So obviously damage to your car will also depend on the material. Steel will bend, glass will crack and shudder, and plastic elements will bend back with time. Some elements will fall apart from the car and even possible to break them into pieces, man. We can break panels into pieces? I've never seen that done before in a game, ever. Give this a one-time watch, and then we have one more paragraph to go through here. So let's quickly, okay, so we only have 19 seconds of this. It's gonna go quick, man, right? Buckle up, here we go. Three, two, one, flight. Ebisu North right off the rip. Supra's getting there. Eight, six, tapping bumpers, Nuremberg ring. Huge collision, BRZ into the wall. Eight, six, just getting destroyed. Oh my goodness, look at the damage. You can see into the Supra. Oh my god. That was a lot to take in right there, man. Oh my god. I'm out of a seizure with all the information here I just got. Uh, let's go quickly. Slow this down to 0.5. Yeah, one more paragraph here. It goes, all damage could be repainted, though it'll take some time. You should be able to set up additional bash bars and other effects to minimize your future crash damage, man. What additions to your car damage system would you like to see drivers share your thoughts, man? Ooh. I wonder what other people have said about this. If you reset your car, it should reset damage. Definitely agree. That would be a nice little tip. Maybe clear the track as well too. Someone else says, I see Nuremberg rig, right? That's crazy though. Is this gonna be for console though? I mean, that's a good question because I see a couple people asking it, but I'm like, is this gonna be a mobile game? This game is the reason Street will stay a mobile game. Tripping on Nuremberg, but that first clip was at North Course. Yeah, Apollo, he's got the eyes out there. That was crazy though. Let's go ahead and just watch this back one more time slow motion while we go through some of these clips we really don't even need sound on to be honest but i'm getting need for speed pro street vibes from this says hunt jr so is this for pc i'd love to use my steam workshop download mods if when it comes to console that's the thing i really do hope that this is going to be coming to the consoles and to the pc because obviously the big thing right i mean let me check steam real quick because i don't i don't believe we have car extra racing too do we Car mechanic? No, it's just it's just Car X, it's just Car X Racing Online, right? I mean, I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong down below, but I'm getting these strange feeling right now that this isn't coming to consoles or PC. This is strictly going to be a mobile game. I don't know. I could be wrong. I really hope I am because look, <laughs> oh my God, the jump trip on Maname is going to be dangerous now for sure. Right? Like the walls even just ate that 86 right up. You got bumpers flying, debris, smoke. There's a lot to comprehend here for the game for sure. 
Huge heavy hit. We have headlights flying off the car there. How many people are we going to see from a current game that join the lobby and take off and go straight into a wall, man? Definitely, there's going to be a lot of people just beelining to the closest wall on the first day for sure. Realism is key. It looks like they want to turn it into drifting sim. What a game this will be, right? Definitely agree there. It's better come to PC first and be potato spec friendly like how Car X is. Let's see what someone said here. Yeah, it is like Car X Street will come to PC. With physics and modeling like this, you're going to need more than a potato to run this. More like when it comes to PC, you should buy a better one, which definitely might be the better option for a lot of people, considering this game is probably not going to be coming out until what, like mid next year, late next year. We haven't even got Car X Street yet, right? So uh, I'm not holding my breath on this coming out anytime soon. From what we saw here today, though, I'm very excited. I'm going to just pause it on a couple spots that I really like. One of which is that tap and look at the bumper instantly deform and kind of slowly start to fall off the car instantly how cool is that we got the water barrels nice huge air coming up there is that a supra oh my god you got even more air the bumper actually started to bend and just pulled right off the car well eight six what was that that fell off the bottom of the car there you see that oh it's the exhaust he lost the damn exhaust tip why is it so big Oh, he did, yeah. <laughs> it was a huge tip. Bumpers flying and the back uh, trunk lid piece too just fell off. And then a dent on the rear trunk as well. Where'd that dent come from? Yeah, oh, that was the wing. That was the wing that fell off, okay. And I just, yeah. That's cool. That's so cool. What about this one here? So he hits the wall quite hard on the Nuremberg ring. Eats it. Muffler flying off the exhaust tip right there. Oh my god. Still eating it. There's a fender. Is that a fender or a bumper? I can't tell. Probably a bumper. How much debris there's gonna be now, man. And this guy, oh my god. This is gonna be me. Look at he already painted his back bumper. He just came back in from a fresh trip. <laughs> Doesn't even know what's about to hit him right here. Other than this wall. And he barely touches it too. Jeez, rips it completely off. And see all the piping underneath of there? Be cool if the piping started to just fly off with the two. A lot of smoke hiding that though, sadly. And on this one here, jeez. Start to really get some air on the fence almost too. It's the second clip. Cars are actually starting to feel maybe like they might take off on some of these collisions, which might be quite fun to see. Bumper fell on that one. Hit the wall quite hard on that 8.6. Spins it right around. Like we're in a damn flow rider song right here. Holy. And another one there. Jeez, you can see the whole roll cage on that one there. One more. Bang, look at that. Right, right here. Look at the quarter on that 8.6 guy. Mangled. Look at that. You can see the full cage in there too when it opened. Full deformation on the rear quarters. Fenders as well too. Looking a little rough. And then the Supra just like, who's driving these cars right now? Hold on, Epic. Right, thank you. Um, yeah, like, oh. <laughs> Look at how high up the fender went, man. It is extremely high. You're just like holding on for dear life with this one there. <laughs> See right through the car though. Look at that. Super cool. See full suspension components. Car X Drift Racing 3. Make sure you guys check this out. Follow their pages. Links are found down below. Huge thanks for coming around for today. Something different. Car X Drift Racing 3. How do I not post this for tonight? Had to get my first thoughts and impressions on this. I'm very impressed. Very, very impressed. Very excited to see this game come out. And uh, I think everybody should be as well. Car X Drift Racing has been leading the pack with mobile games, with arcade friendly drifting games, and they're gonna keep continuously leading the pack, I feel like, for the next decade, man. Right? Let me know your thoughts down below. Huge thanks for watching for today. I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>